thing you need to know before folding the Rubik's Cube is that, for example, if I have orange on the center, that means this whole side is going to be orange. So for the right hand side, it's right side up, top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. Again, uh, so for the left hand side, you need to do left side and uh, left side up, top to the right, left side down, and top to the left. You know how a daisy looks like with yellow in the center and white petals around it. So simil similarly, we're going to find a yellow on the side which has yellow in the center. We need to move the white pieces over here. Uh, the second step is to make the white cross. In step three, we're going to complete the whole white side. We'll get all of the four sides done. So guys, the next step is that we're going to solve the second layer. So we'll move uh, white at the bottom side. So, uh, we'll flip and put it up and white upside down. And now we're going to solve the second layer. So to solve the second layer, all you need to learn is that, for example, if I choose this side, blue and red, I need to, and the second layer is this side, okay guys? this side so i need to find up uh, so which side did i choose okay, let me find it. yeah i chose red and blue so what i need to do is i need to find a edge piece which has red and blue only so i think we have it over here so if you find a piece like that stuck in the middle all you need to do is you need to perform it. Uh, for you need to first perform. You need to move it up to your right hand side and do the right side move. Right side up, top to the left. Right side down, top and um, to the right. Now what you need to do is um, take this corner to the, your left hand side and perform the left side and the left hand side move. Left side up, top to the right, left uh, left side down, and top to the left. And now here we've got our uh, red and um, blue piece upper uh, in the um, upper layer. So now we need to, what we need to do is, so we have blue at the downward side and red is upwards. So we need to match blue with the center piece. So we here have it. So red is on the right side and orange is on the left side. So we need to move here. To do that, we need to move this piece to the opposite side. Like we will, uh, we need have blue, so we'll move it to the left hand side, the opposite side, and then we'll perform the right hand side move. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. And then I'll take it to my left hand side, and then I'll perform the left hand side. Move. Left side up, top to the right, left side down and top to the left and here i have my blue and red piece perfectly matching in between the um, um, sides now we need to find now we have is orange and green so we need to move orange to its best matching uh, to its center piece so orange is here now matching with the center piece so now since green is on this side and blue is on this side, so as I told you, you need to move it in the opposite direction. So we'll move it to the right hand side. So since now we move it to the right hand side, we'll do the left hand side move now. Left, uh, left side up, top to the right, and left side down, and top to the left. Now we'll move this white piece in our the right hand side and do the right side move. Right side up. Top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. And here we have our orange and green piece fixed. So guys, the next step is the yellow cross. And for this step, whether you'll find an L like this, the exact shape like this, but um, the corner piece doesn't matter if you have a yellow piece or here, any other color. All what you need is th in these three pieces like this. Like if you um, uh, move the Rubik's cube towards your side, it should be forming an L like this. So now, uh, or you'll have a straight line of yellow pieces 
or you'll have a whole cross done. So that means you are done with the step. If you have a whole white uh, yellow cross done. So we have an L right now. So I'll uh, rotate the upper layer two times to the right. One and two. Now I have it over here. Now I have my L, sh uh, L shape over here. Now I what the algorithm for this is front uh, front clockwise, right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right, and front anti clockwise. And here you find an a straight a straight line. So if you're uh, if you're already done with the straight line, you need to uh, repeat uh, these steps once again. Let me do that. R uh, front clockwise right side up top to the left right side down top to the right and front and the clock and here you have a yellow cross done so guys the, now that we have our yellow cross done so now we're going to solve the um uh, the uh, we're going to uh, place the edges the middle edges and the edges in the right spot for example i have red here and I have red in the right spot. So similarly, blue is also in the right spot. So we need green and orange in the fixed places. So to do that, I need to, um, uh, we need to follow an algorithm. Um, but before starting the uh, steps, I need to tell you that if you have the edges, like two edges next to each other, then you're going to have a uh, hole like me. So you're going to hold one at your right hand side and the other at the back of your hand. So, and then you're going to perform this algorithm. If you have the two matching uh, opposite to each other, so you're going to um, put one at the right hand side and the other one at the left hand side. So since I have the next to each other ones, so I'll do the algorithm. The algorithm is same for the both situations. So here it is, right side up. Top to the left, right side down, top to the left, right side up, top to the right two times, and right side down. And here now you'll uh, rotate the uh, upper layer to check whether you've got all your edges correct, and yes, you've got all our edges correct. So if uh, this algorithm may seem a bit confusing to you, so the key I use is like you might be noticing I said right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right, I'm so, I'm sorry, top to the left, right side up, top to the right, two times and right side down. So but for this, I, what I do the, and what I do is like I do side down, side up, side side down. So this makes me revise it, but you need to keep it in your mind that when you have to do the side like on the side um, on the, towards the left or the side towards the right, like up and then side and then down and then side side and then um, down like this. I keep it in my mind like that. So I hope this key will be able to help you also will able will be able to help you. So guys, now that we have our edges solved, now we're going to start fixing the corner. So guys, now that I have my one um, corner solved, now I'm going to solve, um, remember guys, it doesn't matter if you have got the jumbled one up, uh, jumbled up one, but, um, uh, all that matters it should be in the right spot between like I got my red blue and yellow salt so it should be like between red blue and yellow so now uh, what we have to do is we need to get all the other ones solved as well so to do that we need to um, like uh, get the other uh, I told you we need to do uh, because I had no other color salt before so i need to do it another time so but if you've got um, the, but if you got all the um, corners correct in the first try then you don't need to do it again but i didn't get it so i'm going to hold this soft piece and twist myself and then i'll do top to the left right side up top to the right 
left side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right, and left side down. And now here you, uh, now I'll check if I got if I saw uh, my piece of corners at all, but no. So I'm going to try it another time. Top to the left, right side up, top to the uh, right, left side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right, and left side down. And now I'll see that and now I have all my corners solved as you can see like red green and yellow is between red green and yellow and blue red and red and yellow is between blue red and yellow and blue orange and yellow is between blue orange and yellow and similar, uh, similarly uh, the green orange and yellow is also in its correct spot so guys this is the last step of solving the Rubik's cube and I hope you really found it easy solving the Rubik's cube but yeah it's not over yet and so we need to solve it and it's the last step and i'm really happy so uh to do this uh, you need to flip the rubik's cube upside down and you have to, uh, so you have white side and upwards and now you need to choose a corner like i have and now i chose this corner yellow um red and green now what to do i need to perform the right hand side moves which i taught you earlier in the video so let me do it. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. And then I'll, I'll do it again until I get the yellow corner fixed. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. Now I got my yellow corner fixed. Now I'll move the last layer, rotate the last layer. Uh, layer. But I have this one fixed as I uh, solved this corner as well. So I'll move to the ne uh, next one and I'll do the right hand side move on. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. So, uh, and then once again, because I didn't get my salt, yellow piece salt. Okay. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. Still, I didn't get my piece salt. Now let me do it again. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. Still, I didn't. Now let me do it again. Do it again and again until I know that you don't get it right. Um, right side up, top to the left, right side down, and top to the right. And now I've got all my yellow pieces uh, solved, and that means that I've got everything solved. Now I'm going to simply rotate my whole last layer, and I've got every piece in its place and now guys yay we've got all the rubik's cubes solved i'm so happy to tell polly about this so guys this is the end of the video and i really hope you learned how to solve the rubik's cube and don't forget to tell me in the comments down below and also if you have any queries or and you're facing any problem regarding solving the rubik's cube you can tell me and give an address with a mail address below and also don't